Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides, and I have one hell of a German vehicle right next to me. This is a brand new Mercedes-Benz AMG GT, but not only a GT, a GTS. Let me give you a little bit of history about Mercedes and AMG. So when you think Subaru, you think STI. When you think Dodge, you think Mopar. When you think Mercedes, think AMG. AMG is their separate brand for high performance. This car is just got so much performance behind it. This is a car to go up against your Porsche 911, to go up against your Ferrari, your Nissan GTR, things like that. I want to first start off and just say that I love this color. I think the color on this Mercedes just really shows the lines. Let me go ahead and take you around the front here. I really like the grill. What I like about these GTs is that they remind me of the old 300 SL Gullwings Wings from the 1960s. Now, they did, Mercedes-Benz and AMG did make a 21st century Gullwing, Wing, but unfortunately, they've decided to cut that out and now produce this car. This car is less expensive, and I really think it's a higher performer than those Gullwing Wing ones. But you can see here, it's got the traditional Mercedes grill with their logo. I really like how they integrated the front lip here. It's really, really a wonderful shape of a car, and it really works well on the racetrack. Stay tuned because in about a week or so from now, I am going to be able to bring to you the actual race version of this car that races in the IMSA WeatherTech Series uh, from the Rolex 24 Hours that I was at last week. But you can see just how clean these lines are. Let me go ahead and take you to the side. The owner did some little extras. I really, really like how AMG has these optional red Brembo brake set up. Now, I know it doesn't say Brembo on it. There it says AMG, but these are Brembos. Companies are allowed to sometimes put their own branding on the caliper rather than having Brembo. You can see the size of the rotors. These rotors are like the size of a large Domino's pizza. That's how huge these rotors are. And the reason why you want them that big is to stop this car on a track and to be able to stop it over and over and over again without them being overheated. What the owner did was, if you notice here on the side fender, which this car is a V8 bi-turbo. So this is a twin turbo V8. So you know you're going to get plenty of power, plenty of boost to get you down that racetrack. I really like these red carbon fiber accents. That's something that with technology, you know, traditionally carbon fiber has that black look to it. But now you can get carbon fiber in all sorts of colors. And I like the way he did the red to match the calipers on uh, the front end and the back end of the car. It really makes it look finished and balances out the color. If you look down the side here, you can see just how nice the lines flow. It's not about big, huge things sticking out, fenders and all that kind of stuff. It's a very clean look. It, it, it's very balanced. This car, the way it's proportioned, even though it's a front engine car, it's very balanced. And I would, you know, the, the, the weight proportion has got to be perfect. Let me go ahead and have Tom show you inside the car. This is where Mercedes really flexes their muscle. They're all about that luxury. They're all about that uh, Alcantara, the, the leather, all these wonderful finishes. That's what they're known for. And with this car, not only are you going to get those nice luxury finishes, but you're also going to get that ultra high performance. I really, really like what they did with the seats. You know, they allow the seats to be aggressive so that you could go do your track day. You could go do an autocross event. But they're also going to be comfortable where the owner of this car could drive it every single day. If you look closely, I like those extra red finishes. It really ties in the whole package with the red calipers and the red carbon fiber work outside the car. But it's also carried inside the car as well. And that's important because, remember, that's where you're going to be spending most of your time. That steering wheel is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a nice size to it to allow you to have a nice feel I really like how they still have traditional style gauges. And I, like I said before, I think when it comes to the balance of luxury and performance, Mercedes does it no better. Let me go ahead and show you the back of the car because the back of the car is probably one of my favorites. As you can see, it's finished off with the Mercedes logo. You have your AMG. When you see AMG, you know that that is extra performance when it comes to Mercedes. I really like how they have the exhaust integrated into the rear bumper. I like this very clean diffuser 
You have the third brake light down here, the reverse light. It's just a very nice touch. And this wing, love it or hate it, I, I really like it. It's a perfect size, and you're damn right. It is functional. Nothing on an AMG is going to be just for show and no go. But as you can see, these are the types of cars that I like to bring to you guys. If you have not hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit subscribe. Check out my website, RadiesRides.com. And if you want to see something special, leave a comment in that comment section. Send me an email. Check out my Instagram, Radies Rides. And if you have something in particular that you want, that you have, that you want on Radies Rides, let me know. I'll get it featured, and you're going to absolutely love it. But anyways, thank you for watching, and like always, I'll see you on the next ride.